and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be looking at fishing collectibles and as always hello from Mifri. So I know a lot of people have got questions about fishing collectibles so we already know about gathering, we've already covered mining and botanist but fishing specifically. So uh, for example if we look today so fishing collectibles, the ones that they're looking for, for me, because I'm level 55, because uh, I have the 54 one available, is Bubble Eye, for example. This one seems to be giving quite a lot of experience right now with the star, and it's level 54. So um, the way I know where to go to get it is because I did some fishing around here, this Vor Sand Siren right here, which is in the south part of Sea of Clouds. And um, I don't have some comprehensive list of all the fishing locations. I just want to sh explain to you the concept of fishing collectibles. So I need to make sure I've got enough gathering, as much gathering as possible. So I'm going to use my standard spinach quiche. I haven't actually upgraded any of my gear yet for fishing since the expansion launch. So I need to just make do with what I have. And um, as well, the bait I'm using still is the stonefly nymph. So what you should do when you're getting into it you need to just hit the collect ability so you can see here collect so able to discern the location of collectibles so this buff having it up will mean that you can capture our fish up um, collectible fish it will not make all fish collectibles just the ones which are collectibles if that makes sense and as well you need to take note of when you before you catch or try to catch a collectible fish the collectability required so you can see here this requires 162 collectability for it to be turned in anything less it it's worthless to you so anyway let's try to uh, fish a collectible let's see what happens and as well there are new abilities in the game as well such as patience and powerful hook shot set which I will cover in a moment so let, let's see what we get for the next fish okay so nothing special so any non-special fish I just release and when you press release on a fish any future normal quality of these crickets I catch it will release automatically but it does it separately for high quality and normal quality versions of the fish so if I was to capture a high quality version it'll still keep it so whichever one you do release on will only re release exactly the same type that you capture in the future Okay, and remember as well when you're fishing you can also sit down so that so what you need to do when you're fishing basically so you see here I just caught a collectible fish that's good timing but you see that the collectability of this fish was 130 which is not good enough so I'm gonna say no because it's not high enough so I just caught a normal normal bubbles eye so I'm just gonna release that now collectability um, like where it says 162 is determined in theory think of it like the quality of it so the higher the quality the better so the stat that we're concerned with to get high quality items you can see for fishing is perception so the more perception we have the naturally more um, collectability is going to have now one thing they've added in is patience so it says increases the chance of landing an HQ fish by 50% while reducing the hook efficiency by 40% so this will give us much higher high quality chance but at the expense of we will a lot of fish will become uh, released and they won't hook on but that's what this is for this powerful hook set so it says removes the inefficient hooking status has no effect on some fish and this um, only lasts uh, two minutes so while you're using patience use powerful hookshot and you know it's just a reason for us as fishers to finally use our GP because we didn't ever have a use for it before so I'm gonna hit patience I'm gonna fish I'm gonna sit down and then any fish I capture I'm gonna use powerful hookshot just while the buff is up not any other time because by then my GP will run out anyway so let's see so powerful hook set I'm 
Nice. So you can see here, 177. Is that enough? Let's check. Yes, 177 is definitely enough. So we're going to take that. And that's it. That's, that is fishing collectibles. So basically, wherever you can capture these fish, these glacier cores or sorcerer fish or bubble eye or whatever, then um, you just come to the same location, you activate the collector's glove, and use abilities like patience and powerful hookshot to, to get them. It's not guaranteed that you'll get them, absolutely not, but this will definitely increase your chances, and the more gathering, more per perception you have, the better. But remember, guys, as well, that there is an element to this. Like, for example, I know that these bubble lies only spawn during the day, so I will not try and get them during the night, for example. And I hope that there will be a list somewhere that will explain this stuff. Um, and what I'll try and do as well is I'll try and keep the description of this video up to date with all of the latest links to, you know, lists of collectible fish and stuff like that. If you know any good lists of collectible fish, then please let me know in the description, sorry, in the comments below as well. I hope this video can serve as a useful resource um, for collectible fish in the future. But I just, like I said, a lot of people had questions about it. So you can see... It released a bubble's eye because this is normal quality, so this is below. So in theory, um, a collectible bubble's eye that we need is a, it's like a high quality. So it's like a high quality bubble's eye is enough to be considered a collectible bubble's eye, if that makes sense. So even though it, all, it only has this same uh, symbol as collectible, you, you notice that it was a high quality one that had enough collectability, the normal quality didn't. So anyway, I'm glad I got to explain this to you clearly that um, the, well, why not? Another 177, I'll take it, I'll take it. So yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that RNG is on my side at this moment to capture collectible fish so I could show you how it works. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, let me just let me free stand up as always. Goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.